from the moment of concept to building a massive factory, liquid cooled, energized, permitted in the short time that was done, that is like superhuman. Right. And, and as far as, as far as I know, there's only one person in the world who could do that, right. you know? I mean, Elon is singular in this understanding of engineering and, and construction and large systems and marshalling resources. It's unbelievable. And of course, then his engineering team is extraordinary. And from the moment that we decided to get to go, the planning with our engineering team, our networking team, our infrastructure computing team, the software team, all of the preparation in advance, then all of the infrastructure, all of the logistics and the amount of technology and equipment that came in on that day to training, 19 days. 19 days is incredible. Mm -hmm. But it's also kind of nice to just take a step back and just, do you know how many days 19 days is? (laughs) It's just a couple of weeks. Right. And the amount of technology, if you were to see it, is unbelievable. Yeah. All of the wiring and the networking and just getting this mountain of technology integrated and all the software, incredible. Right. Yeah. So I think what Elon and the X team did, what they achieved is, is singular. Never right. been done before. Just to put in perspective, 100,000 GPUs, that's, you know, easily the fastest supercomputer on the planet as one cluster. A supercomputer that you would build would take normally three years to plan. And then they deliver the equipment and it takes one year to get it all working. Yes. We're talking about 19 days. That was the CEO of NVIDIA describing Elon Musk leading XAI to do two impossible things in world record time. Number one, to build the world's largest AI training supercomputer, more than triple the size people thought was technically possible with the existing technology. I've covered this recently. I won't get into the detail, but no one thought it was possible to build something this big with those NVIDIA GPUs. And the second impossible thing was how quick this came together in record time. Jensen there explaining, no one else could have done it. He's right. So why do we start with this? Well, XAI has just closed and completed their Series C funding round. Big things are brewing. Does anyone know why a guy who predominantly discusses Tesla from an investor's point of view day after day will think it relevant to mention the latest fundraising Series C, $6 billion raised by XAI? After all, we know that Tesla is just a car company and has nothing at all to do with AI. So this is totally irrelevant, but hey, let's roll with it. Here's the post from XAI today. XAI raises $6 billion Series C. By the way, they raised $6 billion earlier this year. Company's valuation exploding. I swear they're on track to be a trillion dollar company faster than you can blink. Note, among those contributing to the Series C round include, quoting the official XAI account on X, NVIDIA and, wait for it, AMD. Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. You're telling me that companies that make chips to train AI are so impressed and see so much potential in XAI that they're investing in the company? Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not. This actually happened. What? This is massive. What an incredibly big vote of confidence. So let's read this post and believe me, folks, this has a lot to do with Tesla. XAI's progress is accelerating rapidly. We have closed our Series C funding round of $6 billion with participation from key investors, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know. Okay, cool. Wait for it. Strategic investors NVIDIA and AMD also participated and continue to support XAI in rapidly scaling our infrastructure. So we have to talk about this. First of all, as I mentioned in passing, nobody thought it was possible to build an AI training supercomputer, the scale that XAI pulled off with existing technology. I covered this recently. People thought maybe 30,000 you could have coherent with these chips from NVIDIA, we don't want to get too bogged down to details, right? But everyone thought you can't do more than 30,000 together. And Elon's like, well, uh, is, are you sure that's true? Let's go first principles. Hang on. Actually, we could probably do 100,000. Let's do it. And they did. And I believe that they're on track to scale this thing to 200,000. So this is important because for a while there, everybody was just going ballistic trying to buy these things from NVIDIA to train. But suddenly they start to build their super. And you're like, well, we can't get past 30,000. We don't need any more. Along comes XAI. And suddenly NVIDIA is looking like having a dip in their quarterly profits because people can't use these things once they've reached massive scale. Like, well, they can't have any more, otherwise it becomes incoherent. XAI was like, actually, no, fuck that, we'll take them, please. So guess what's happened here? Clearly NVIDIA and likely AMD now rolling out the red fucking carpet for XAI. Clearly their best customer, their smartest customer, their fastest moving customer. So imagine now you're a company competing with XAI and there's absolutely insane demand for your AI training chips, right? For building supercomputers to train AI. Who gets priority when ordering literally billions of dollars worth of this stuff? The company that you know is going to be good now and in the future and be reliable 
Well, the company is so fucking stupid. They thought, oh, we can't buy anymore now because we've reached a scaling limit. <laughs> this is amazing. Special treatment for XAI from NVIDIA, AMD and so on is a big deal. Remember, Musk has talked in the past about potentially collaborating and or some kind of relationship between XAI and Tesla. And I understand why. These two companies together have the ingredients for artificial general intelligence, but independently do not. Tesla has the real world AI, the real world intelligence via FSD, and now that's been transplanted into humanoid robots. They have an infinite stream of real world data. That is one of the necessary ingredients for artificial general intelligence. What Tesla doesn't have is a language model. The data stream from let's just say X, but XAI does, which is the other essential ingredient. You need language, you need cognition, you need to be able to think, you need to be able to reason need to be able to calculate to communicate right ingredient number one is language and everything that comes along with that the other ingredient is the real world okay these two things together and you have the ingredients for artificial general intelligence so if xai is getting special treatment from nvidia and they are and they deserve it and xai and tesla each have something the other needs and musk already having floated potential collaboration partnerships and so on this is fucking amazing for tesla I'm going to say it again, XAI now has the world's largest AI training supercomputer and it's not even close. I think it's like three times the size of the next largest. And they're going to double that. It's going to just keep getting bigger. If at any point in the future, Tesla needs more training compute, guess who's got a fuckload of training compute available? Musk-led XAI. And if at any point in the future, XAI decides, you know what, we wouldn't mind uh, that vision component now. We're trying to solve AGI. Hey, Tesla, can you license us that technology, that data? Huge financial win for Tesla investors. Alternatively, there could be some kind of equity arrangement where Tesla licenses the data to XAI in exchange for a stake in the company. So let's continue reading this announcement. Since the announcement of Series B back in May, XAI has made significant technical progress and shipped a multitude of key initiatives, including Colossus. Oh, that's the thing I was talking about, right? XAI has established a decisive hardware advantage with the world's largest AI supercomputer using an NVIDIA full stack reference design with 100,000 Hopper GPUs. Compared to typical multi-year industry timeframes, Colossus was fully operational 122 days and started running workloads just 19 days after the first servers were delivered. Soon, XAI will double the size of Colossus to a combined total of 200,000 NVIDIA Hopper GPUs. Grok2, our frontier language model, with state-of-the-art reasoning capabilities. The XAI API, giving developers programmatic access to our foundation models yet, cool story bro. Aurora, XAI's proprietary auto-regressive image generation model for Grok enhances mode. <laughs> God damn, this is so jargony. Yeah, they have an image generating AI as well. It's cool. Grok Onyx, leveraging the X platform to understand what's happening in the world in real time. Now, this is important. No other company has access to the X data feed. And no other company has access to Tesla's real world data. Just saying, we recently added new features enhancing the X experience like a web search, citations, and our recent image generator, Aurora. XAI's most powerful model yet, Grok3, is currently training and we are now focused on launching innovative new consumer and enterprise products that will leverage the power of Grok, Colossus, and X to transform the way we live, work, and play. I think... In retrospect, we're going to look back at this sentence and go, ah, well, they told us, didn't they? By the way, it's obvious that Grok's going to be in Tesla vehicle soon to interact with, speak to, right? The funds from this financing round will be used to further accelerate our advanced infrastructure, ship groundbreaking products that will be used by, wait for it, billions of people, and accelerate the research and development of future technologies, enabling the company's mission to understand the true nature of the universe. XAI is primarily focused on the development of advanced AI systems that are truthful, that makes them unique among AI systems, competent and maximally beneficial for all of humanity. And obviously this is a massive drive for talent. XAI is hiring aggressively. If you have a gigantic fucking brain, head to XAI, check out the careers section. It's x.ai slash careers. So it's worth taking a moment here, folks, because the narrative regarding Tesla, for years, the competition's coming, just wait till the big boys arrive. Musk doesn't know what he's doing, blah, 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 right? Cruise and Waymo are ahead of Tesla when it comes to autonomy. Tesla's last when it comes to autonomy. A lot of what's been happening at Tesla, there's no direct comparison because no one's done it before. Whereas we see XAI, less than two years old, this company, very, quote, late to the party. After all, the big chat GPT moment, we all saw that, right? And now, out of nowhere, in less than two years, XAI has gone from not existing, don't say that again, XAI did not exist two years ago, to building the world's largest AI training supercomputer in world record time, raising fuck tons of capital, and having earned the incredible trust and faith and confidence of the NVIDIA CEO, they're now literally customer number one, absolutely going to get special treatment and priority delivery for the future. It literally says here, strategic investors NVIDIA and AMD are also participating and continue to support XAI in rapidly scaling our infrastructure. 
This isn't just, oh yeah, well, we're buying shit from NVIDIA and AMD. They're supporting XAI in rapidly scaling. This is massive. How embarrassing for, well, every company who existed before XAI to have already been overtaken in terms of infrastructure, training computer. And by the way, when Grok 3 drops, it seems all but certain it's going to massively leapfrog the best language models currently available. But obviously, if a Musk-led company pursuing AI is able to do what XAI have done in record time and embarrass the whole industry out of absolutely nowhere, obviously none of that would apply to what Tesla's been doing with autonomy because they're totally different companies. And plus Tesla's just a car company and the leaderboards say they're already last with autonomy. So they're definitely not going to be first to solve generalized autonomy and massively scale because that's what the experts told me. So there's nothing to see here. Everything's fine. And plus, even if they are first, everyone will then just press the magic catch up to Tesla button. So there's nothing to worry about whatsoever. Plus, ARK Invest are completely insane. They think Tesla stock's fair value in 2029 will be $2,600 per share on the back of autonomy. And obviously, they're crazy. It's not like they've had a prediction five years ago that Tesla would be $466 per sh Oh, wait, no, they did. Uh. Trolling aside, I do want to take a moment to really drive this point home. You have to be very dumb. And I mean, like, very small brain or just extremely arrogant, not to be able to look at what XAI has done in record time. The AI opportunity, people are frothing left, right, and fucking center, right? It's the biggest opportunity in a millennium, right? AI. Everyone is going after this ASA fucking pay. All the big companies, Facebook, Google, OpenAI, they are absolutely obsessed about being first and best. They have unlimited resources. Yet out of nowhere, a Musk-led company arrives to the party late and is just left with the girl you were talking to all fucking night. Rest in fucking peace. This is important. It's an insight into how quickly a Musk-led company pursuing an incredibly difficult technological challenge can move. And in the case of Tesla, Tesla was first to the party. They've been there for a fucking decade and no one else has even showed up. So the idea that anyone, any other company, when it comes to autonomy, has a hope in hell of even catching up to Tesla? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. Just got my AG1 in the mail, legit feeling the effects after day three. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. This viewer after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more, yeah, why not? I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more, don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect. But even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.